Welcome to Lecture 3, an overview of applications involving Prosody. So maybe you're watching these lectures looking for startup ideas. Maybe you want to use Prosody to launch an amazing company that everyone will love. Or maybe you want to make an existing product better. This lecture is our first one on speech technology. Just an initial overview of some application areas where pros Prosody is relevant, at least historically or potentially. We will dive deeper in later lectures. The first application area is speech recognition, where we want to extract from the speech signal the words that were said. Prosody can help a little with this. It can help more with punctuation, where to put a comma or a period. These are very hard to infer from the spectral information alone, but the prosody can tell you. Speech synthesis, to synthesize a convincing, clear, intelligible, pleasant voice, prosody is absolutely crucial. Always need to remember that a human is involved in most applications, a real human, uh, and sometimes actually multiple humans, some trying to spoof the system. So speaker identification is another task. The way that people use prosody is quite distinctive, and so prosody is useful for identifying who's a, who is actually talking. Further, we may be interested in the speaker's internal state. Are they excited, stressed, or confused? Prosody can tell a lot about this. So those are some component level technologies. If you want utility in a real system, uh, for example, a robot that can talk with people as it's doing some work with them, or even Siri or Alexa, uh, you need more. So for speech synthesis, you'll need to go beyond mere text to speech. You know, beyond the words, you need to convey something about the robot's intents or awareness of the context. For recognition, not just understanding the user's words, but their micro intent their feeling, their attitude, as it changes moment by moment in the conversation. Uh, so in other words, if you're actually building a full dialogue system, prosody becomes absolutely crucial. Okay, so here's a summary of those points, plus at the bottom, a couple new ones. Uh, prosody is useful, for example, for summarization, where it marks importance, filtering, where it can mark urgency, assessment, tutoring and coaching, where appropriate prosody can be highly motivational. All right, so speech technology has a lot of things going on where prosody is involved. Even if you're not a techie, it's worth knowing something about the application's topics because historically, the needs of speech technology drove many of the advances in speech science. Whoops. <laughs> However, uh, more recently, the two disciplines are sort of pulling apart. The results are presented at different conferences. There are fewer conversations, which is very sad. Uh, there is a reason and that's the amazing power of big data and deep learning. So sometimes it's actually true that knowledge of prosody has little value. So for example, if you're a big corporation with the ability to train huge models with billions of parameters, or if you only care about languages where large resources are available, like English and Mandarin with thousands of hours, or if you only care about incrementally improving existing systems, sure, you, you don't need to watch these lectures. Um, <clears throat> but sometimes it's not true. There are cases where knowledge of prosody is vital. Uh, so for example, if you're building a brand new application, you need to decide what features to use, what data collect, or what data to buy, what sort of models to use. Knowledge of prosody can be helpful. If you're interested in modeling minority languages or specific dialects, or even since individuals differ, modeling specific individuals as individuals to meet their needs then knowledge of prosody is, is essential. So one uh, aim of these lectures is to distill the important recent scientific discoveries and make them clear so speech system engineers can benefit and of course conversely. And who knows, maybe one of you will see a new connection, create that new product and get rich and famous. We're rooting for you. So this concludes our introductory three lectures. In the next lecture, Gina will kick off the topic of production and perception with our first lecture on pitch.